this week's video, we are installing the generator as well as the fuel tank donated by the Henry family. So, um, thank you, Henry family. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Like it down here, subscribe. We appreciate you guys. Let us know what you think. So if you're starting out your schoolie build and you just can't seem to stop breaking bits, it's not just you, but you get, you get better at it. And the trick is your wrist. You want to put a lot of weight on it, but you can't put cockeyed weight. If you start drilling this way, you got to continue to drill this way. Start drilling this way, got to continue to drill that way. When you start one way and try to pull it up as you drill, every time, broken bit. These are also Harbor Freight bits. They're the worst bits I've ever gotten. This one, total junk. Uh, all of these are broken here, here, now the, now the half inch. Um, one of them didn't even, wasn't even straight. One of them was totally, totally cockeyed. So let me show you what we're working with. The here and here and here and here will bolt onto the frame of the bus. And then these guys here, they will bolt on to underneath the bus, the ribs of the bus. I would also like to add after my rant about drill bits, that I am now using some of dad's drill bits, which are drill bits that I have already replaced for him and I am borrowing them again. Thank you, dad. Happy birthday, dad. Today is dad's birthday. I will probably end up having to buy dad another set of uh, drill bits. These holes down here will be what the generator bolts to. And I got to drill these holes and then four more holes, six more holes underneath the bus to hold these up bolt it up there we go paint it once we paint it we go mount the generator <laughs> So the Henry family showed up to drop off a fuel tank uh, so I can finish the generator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been mounted up underneath the bus. Hi. These are the Henrys. Thank you, Henrys. What do we have here? We have a generator. Nice. A generator box. Nice. And what you just dropped off is gonna supply fuel to the generator. Oh, and it's like 30 gallons, so we're gonna be able to have fuel for like a week. Whoa. Nice. It's gonna fit right up on here. Ooh. I'm not filming anymore.
saw could have been prevented if you had a two and a half inch hole saw. Charging out. Nor am I gonna buy. So, definitely felt like an episode of West Coast Choppers. The last 36 hours, trying to cram and get this generator mounted. But we got it up and running. We got mud all over it. From the tires, dude. Yeah. We got mud everywhere. Mud fest. We got the fuel cell over here. Put this port, this fill station for the fuel cell, but it did not work. It will need some modifications, but we are here. We made it. We got AC, we got a generator. You wanna see a startup? All you gotta do. We got power, baby. Work in progress. So at Colfax, we realized that this tank was not vented, so it was building up pressure. The pressure was pushing the fuel through the line and flooding the carburetor, making the generator run sloppy. So we have put a shutoff valve, that way when we're driving, if we're not using the generator while we're driving, we can shut it off. Um, if we ever need to service it, we can shut it off um, right here in case of emergencies. Another issue is with the fuel cell, the fill tube above amber right now is, uh, it didn't work out too well, it was dry rotted. The amount of bending that we needed made it crack and um, it kinked so it didn't fill up very well. I'm using the same fill tube. We're just gonna have to modify it a bit. So such a hard bend coming from over here to here. It's really not all that much room, but it was a hard bend on the dry rotten hose. So we will be replacing this with a barb style fitting and then just connecting a more new flexible hose to this port. We'll still be using this outside system, just adding a, a more flexible, newer hose to get that filled. And um, the last issue we had with this fuel cell was the vent, and the vent is on this opposite side. And um, my cousin Tony is making a vent out of some tubing for me. So I'll be picking that up tomorrow, filling this tank up, 30 gallons, and heading out to Lake Charles. Okay, so I'm under the bus right now, if you couldn't tell. 
my cousin Tony gave me this contraption. This is gonna be here and this is gonna be our vent tube. So I had to trim this. I'm still in the process of trimming it, but I'm trimming it to fit and it's all gonna sit up here. So I will see how well you guys can see. Supposed to put Teflon tape here. I'll do it another time. Maybe. We are leaving for Lake Charles in maybe an hour. As soon as we are done packing, we will be leaving for Lake Charles. I think I figured it out. Uh, number one. This whole thing sucks. I can hardly see it. It's a compression fitting. And that's a wrap. That was the extent of my vent tube. I still need to connect this. And Tony gave me something to fit there, but I still need to do that. That's all I'm gonna do for here. I'm gonna start the bus, transfer everything from my truck. That way we can get out of here. So this was our generator install video. I hope you can find some value with what we did here. Um, now that all the kinks have been worked out, it's been a couple of weeks later. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe at the bottom. It helps us out. We really appreciate it. You guys have a good week.